Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. In this video, I'll show you how to draw and extrude a part in Mastercam 2023. So, what I like to do is I'll just find my top plane and I'll go to wireframe and I'll make like a two dimensional outline of my part. So, we'll go simple. Now you can go up to here and click anchor to center. That's what I like to do. And let's just draw a 8 by 3.75 inch part. Okay, so now we can either extrude this down to create a body or we can keep drawing on the uh, and do wireframe. So let's do that. Let's create a point in the middle. And then from here, you can just create more rectangles and add holes and just get creative. So what we'll do is, this isn't planned out, so I'll just start drawing stuff. Make a hole right in the middle. And then we will make a bolt pattern. That is seven by three. And we'll make them quarter twenties, so zero point two five. One right there, one right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay. Um so now you can start extruding. So go up to extrude, select what you drew, and we can click this arrow and extrude it down. And one inch seems okay. Next, we can go and extrude this. We'll send this one through. So it's not a create body, it's a cut body. We want to cut through it. Click the check. And now we can extrude our holes. And these will be three quarters of an inch down. Cool. Next, I like to change the color of the part. This, uh, this shade of blue, green has always uh, worked for me. And now I can do um, some editing to the part. So if we want to add some, some fillets, some chamfer, stuff like that, we'll go with fillets first and we'll add them to the corners. Okay, now we can add a big chamfer to this hole. Cool. And now, what else? We can just add a. I don't know, that's not going to work. I want a chamfer to the outside. And I guess we can also add a um, chamfer to those quarter twenties while we're at it. Never mind. So you kind of have to play around with stuff. These all like this will just allow you to select the entire face. This one right here, the entire body. Here, are just edges of a solid. So we'll just go around and click the edges of the solid. takes a little bit longer to manually click on everything but if you want to be precise and like your auto functions up here aren't, aren't selecting the ones you want you kind of have to do this okay let's go let's 
Just pretend this is like an edge break, like a 20 tile edge break. And might as well do it to the other side too. Okay, so now that you're like your basic part is drawn, you can go over here to levels. And everything's on level one right now. We'll just name that solid. And to create another level, you just type in two, tab over, and we'll call it wireframe. So now you can select all your wireframe and move it to the wireframe level. So now we just activate level one and now you have a clean part. Kind of looks like something you would uh, get from SolidWorks or something. My other videos, I'll go over levels and how you can have multiple solids stacked on each other, like multiple like assemblies with all different types of wireframe on it. You know, really complicated stuff. I'll do that in another video. But for just creating a simple solid, um, it's really simple. All you have to do is I'll go over it again. Go to wireframe, select a plane, start drawing. Go to solids, extrude, extrude. And you can do create body and then cut body to cut through it and then just clean it up with levels. So that was our quick little video on how to uh, create a solid master cam. Uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Thanks.